Number one, the singer, the musician, the cabinet maker, the joinery guy, just watering his plants right now and he's practicing his farming. So these are some pumpkins. So these are the things that we're supposed to be doing in the country. Wherever you have a little space, plant things. People plant flowers everywhere. The only thing they have in front of their house is flowers. When you're hungry, you can eat flowers. I know the flower is good, you know. It is. It has some kind of aesthetic value. It is pleasing to the eye. And those things will relax you too. But you can't be planting flowers alone and you can't plant nothing for you to eat. So that's the Rasta man yard there. He's just planting his vegetables there, watering it there. And you know, this place here really doesn't... It's kind of a dry place. There is not water here, so he has to collect his water during the rain time so that he could irrigate his crop. So that's some of the plants. All right. All right. So this is number one. Cassava. So what happened now is, if you can try to produce that, those who have access to more water need to try to produce something too. You understand? So if you have something planted by your house, your neighbor have something, some other person have something. So if you plant some tomatoes, you can share with your neighbors. If your neighbor has some pumpkins they can share with you so we need to think more along the lines of producing what we eat you can't be thinking of everything that you need you have to be importing it into the country you know there are certain things that you must import but you can't be importing things that can be easily grown and so number one is demonstrating that to us and number one is a busy man too because number one he makes beds and things like that you know what I'm saying? Plus, he 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 records his, his songs. He has some songs that he's he's recording right now. So he's a busy man. So in the little time that he get today right now, he's just tending to his his little farm by his house, his little garden. And that's the kind of direction that we need to be going into. And to me, it should be a matter of. You know, pleasure to see that you can actually produce your own food. You understand? And that is the direction. That's the direction we need to move as a country. That is how we need to move. Now, the thing is, that is not really a new vibe. Because I remember some while back, the Ministry of Agriculture was trying to encourage people to get into backyard farming. And... Um, they were trying to provide the technical advice and things like that. So the ministry has tried. The Ministry of Agriculture has tried to get people into those things. They have done their part. But sometimes, you know, people do not really continue with good things. So what's really happening now is we need to... You see that virus situation? It is going to cause a whole heap of things to change. So we do not have to allow the pressures that are created to really force us to do force us into submission but we have to use our minds to change and do things for ourselves in a more efficient way in a more productive way we should now start thinking more progressively and aggressively of feeding ourselves and living more healthy lives you know trying to see what is important and what is not because one of the things that we see from that virus thing is that there are a lot of things that we're thinking that are important and they're not important at all. And the things that we neglect are the things that are actually important, you see. So we need to really change the way out that we think. Change the way that we think. There are some people that are very prideful. 
they believe that their hands are not supposed to go in the soil they will eat food that the soil is produced but they think somehow that they're so important and sophisticated that their hands cannot touch the soil if they want to continue thinking that way that is them but we need to continue changing the way we look at life and reality you know what i'm saying so we need to be getting into producing our food we need to be starting to eat our start, we need to start eating our own fruits because number one what's going on is some of them there are some people that think it is good for them they think that they're valuable they're important they're sophisticated when they can eat an apple or grapes and the local fruits that we have here they believe that it's too low for them they will boast about eating an apple but they will not talk about eating a guava you understand so really what happened is we need to get into our own thing because what happened is these apples that you see the way they maintain the redness is they put a wax on it you know what i'm saying so there is a lot of different preservatives they use on these fruits to make them look nice and attractive even when they're in the supermarkets after they travel so long so so much distance so we need to be more aware of those things we need to eat more of the things that we produce so that is number one here right now taking care of his farms you know taking care of his plants these are his peas there so that's a good source of protein for because he have his peas peas that he has over there will be a good source of protein for him you know what i'm saying he can eat his peas and his rice and his yams or whatever his bananas so these are the things that we need to do man to produce our own food to me it is it, it should be a matter of pride and number one make you feel good that you know the food that, you have to that actually came from yourself that, that should make you feel good that the things that you have now eaten because that came from your yard